Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about Salesforce flow orchestration. So let's start. So let's discuss what is flow orchestration. So basically, it lets us create orchestrations. Uh, what is orchestrations? Orchestrations are multi-step processes that interact with multiple users. Uh, orchestration is a sequence of stages uh, which comprise of series of steps. A stage can contain interactive and background steps. So basically a stage can contain two types of steps and a stage is a collection of steps. When an orchestration runs an interactive st uh, step, which is, one, which is one of the type of step, the designated user receives an email with a link to their assigned action. The assigned user clicks uh, the link to go to the record where they can complete the action in their work guide. Background steps execute an automated flow that's executed by system and requires no user interaction, right? Uh, and flow orchestrator is an application that builds sophisticated business processes by combining and coordinating a series of flow. Orchestrations are user centric and you can manage processes that involve different users, different parts of your organizations through one orchestration. So uh, since the complexity of business processes have increased uh, with the time and uh, there needs to be, they, uh, we require input from multiple users from multiple departments. So this increased complexity result in increased amount of time spent waiting, waiting for each person to complete their task. So for to solve this complexity, Salesforce brought the flow orchestrator. So here is a simple example. Here is how a flow orchestrator will look like. So we have two types of flow orchestrator. One is auto launched flow and second is record trigger or orchestration. So uh, here is an example. This record trigger orchestration is built on a case. And uh, for on the first step, we are uh, classifying the case and we are routing the case. Then uh, after uh, the case has been routed, uh, initial steps are being taken. Then based on the case status, we are checking whether it is closed. If the case is closed, then send a post case survey. If it is awaiting customer response, route it to an agent. If it is escalated, route it to the manager. And if it is no outcome, then do nothing and so on. So basically we have some steps and we want to execute them simultaneously. We can, uh, with the help of stages and the, within those stages, we have steps. We can do, do that with the help of flow orchestration. Let me give you one more example. Let's say when you submit an order and after submitting the order, there are many steps that needs to be completed. Uh, let's say we have to check the inventory. We have to check the customer status, account status, whether they have enough credit to purchase the order. So in that case, also one example is of order orchestration. So we can, uh, that can also be solved using this flow orchestrator. Need of orchestration and when to use it. As I said, like uh, as the company grows and so does the complexity of the workflow. So we require uh, a tool through which we can manage those orchestration, those steps. Uh, when to use it to create advanced approval process, task list for groups or any other processes that require multiple interrelated steps. Steps can also be interrelated within each other. And uh, for example, consider employee onboarding that requires a new employee to go through a multi-level, multi-user approval process to get equipment and access to a digital company resources. Uh, now let's discuss the type of orchestration flows. Firstly is the auto-launched orchestration, uh, which I discussed. This is launched by Apex, REST API or any other tool. Uh, second is the record trigger orchestration similar to a record triggered flow. It is launched when a record is created or updated. Uh, with, uh, we also have a sub flow uh, that is an evaluation flow. Uh, so this it is basically a flow with a process of type evaluation flow. Uh, it contains a variable that a boolean variable that is named is orchestration condition met to indicate the custom entry condition are met or uh, if it is met then the output variable must be set true. So we can use this evaluation flow in the entry and the exit uh, conditions of our uh, steps or stages, uh, which we will see when we uh, go through the demo. So to find this auto launch and record trigger orchestration, uh, we will have to click on all templates when uh, in the Salesforce uh, user setup screen while creating a new flow. Uh, so let's discuss the building blocks of our orchestration flow. So as I discussed, we have stage, we have steps and we have decisions. Uh, let me go back to the diagram. So this 
is two greater than arrows indicate a, a stage so the stage is triage and route and within these we have these two steps and these two steps uh, uh, are uh, one is interactive step and one is a background step uh, uh, so let me go back to that slide so second uh, first is the stage so stages are executed sequentially only one stage in an orchestration can be in progress at a time and uh, we, we can configure the conditions that must be met for a stage to be considered complete. Then step, steps are grouped in stages and can run sequentially or concurrently. Interactive steps require a user intervention and background steps require no user intervention. As I said, we have two types of steps. And then we have the decision element and this is similar to the flow builder. If you want to uh, execute different uh, things based on some decision, we can use this. Uh, so let's discuss uh, important points. Uh, so basically to say, receive emails from the flow orchestration, as I said, for a user interactive uh, step, uh, will the user will get an email to complete that step. So to re basically to receive emails from flow orchestration, we have to we have to create a org wide email address uh, before that orchestration uh, an orchestration run is basically a running instance of an orchestration. Uh, it also has a status associated with the, uh, it like in progress completed and this helps us in debugging so uh, active flows plus orchestration limit is 2000 and total flows plus orchestration limit uh, whether active or inactive is 4000 these are for these additions see a demo now i'll go to my salesforce org uh, i'll go to flows to create a new flow orchestration search for flows in the setup and click on flows uh, then click on new flow uh, when this opens we'll have an option to select which type of flow so in this we'll click on all plus templates and then we'll click on flow orchestration where we have these two options auto launched and record trigger orchestration uh, which i've explained earlier and then we have this evolution uh, evaluation flow so this is launched uh, for the entry and the exit criteria and if this uh, within this flow we have a variable and if that returns true the evaluation flow is uh, the condition is true otherwise it is false so we will see a simple flow orchestration and uh, uh, so this is a flow orchestration which i have created it is a record triggered orchestration so uh, it is run on order and uh, it is run when our record is created so uh, within that we have a step we will uh, the step name is check order account uh, so i've created two steps one is a background step and one is an interactive step to uh, firstly let's uh, see a background step a background step doesn't involve a user interaction so uh, the condition is when the specified evaluation flow returns true the step starts we have two conditions uh, three conditions basically when the stage starts the step starts when another step is mark completed the step starts and the third one is when the specified evaluation flow returns true so we have created this evaluation flow flow check order count account i'll go to this flow and we have we are providing in the input as the account id for this flow so this is the flow uh here basically i'm checking if the uh, i'm fetching all the orders for that account and i am ca uh, counting the account uh, using uh, the, counting the number of orders for that account using equal count uh, assignment and then i'm checking if the check order count is greater than equal to to uh, two then uh, just make this variable is orchestration condition met equals to true this variable is uh, what defines evaluation criteria will return true or false so otherwise i'm just assigning it to false then uh, so uh, after this uh, evaluation criteria uh, we can we'll have to select a flow after this is returned true which flow you want us to execute so i if uh, this evaluation criteria is true that is a uh, account is having two or more orders then I want to uh, call this flow update account orchestration. It is a simple flow. I'm just updating a record. Uh, so where the ID is equals to this account ID and I am uh, marking the rating. So for the rating, I have three values, premium, uh, medium and normal. So if the number of orders are greater than equal to two, then the account should be marked premium. So I'm just doing that. 
uh, so I'll go back to this orchestration and uh, in this step uh, uh, the second this step is completed so this flow will be called uh, this is the second step which uh, we are using to assigning it to a user so this step is uh, start uh, this step starts when another step is marked complete that is the background step is marked complete then this step starts so this will call this test flow this test flow is nothing but a screen flow that would be shown on the screen of the record uh, so we'll have to provide in the record id uh, of the screen of the uh, of the record where we want to show the screen so and then we'll have to assign the user to which user this task needs to be assigned and uh, the condition is when the assigned user has completed the screen flow the step is marked complete and the second one is when the specified evaluation flow returns true this step is marked complete so uh, we can also create an evaluation flow for that uh, but i have chosen this step so this uh, flow is active so let's test it so uh, this is the account record i'll just refresh it to see the uh, work guide uh, to see the work items uh, that are uh, assigned to you you'll have to first add this work guide on your record page just click on this settings icon and edit page and then uh, sell, add this work guide orchestration on your record page so uh, so my flow orchestration was if our account has two or more orders then uh, the rating the rating uh, variable would be true and this work guide would be updated let me do that uh, let me create uh, two orders first let me create a new order let me add a contract here and the order started order started is this and let's save it so we have one order uh, so rate rating has not updated yet because uh, the condition was if it had uh, the number of orders are two or greater than equal to two so i'll just create one new order same contract uh, this day create another order so now the, we have two orders and our orchestration flow would run and it would update this rating to premium so let me just refresh this page click on details and yes uh, the rating has been updated to premium and i can see that uh, i have been assigned a work guide so uh, it is saying hey samar please confirm the rating for the account and i said it is finished it is correct so the the task has been completed successfully by me so this was a very simple uh, ex uh, example of the flow orchestration we can also create uh, many complicated flows using that and to solve our business process based on our business process so yep so that's all for today's session and do like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thanks everyone for watching